Coming in hat. Coming in hat. Woohoo. Beautiful. So beautiful. I'm like in high gear right now, just rolling along, like zero drag brake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I'm out RCing with my son. This is insanely fun. Oh, uh, at least I'm paying for your insurance right now. Okay, so here is a standard size 3S LiPo. This is a 7,000 milliamp hour or ma. You can see number two, because I've got a few of them. Hello, Mr. Mo. Hello. What do you have here, sir? This is a huge truck. And yes. Four, uh, and 8,400 milliamp hour 3s light that can run for a huge amount of time yes it can and that is a giant battery isn't it uh yeah it's like i can't even comparatively look at this mine's a 7000 and that's smaller <laughs> right look on the end but wow. what trucks are we putting these into they haven't seen these yet look how large these trucks are are amazing <laughs> what i can say dun, and dun, the styling dun. is even better dun, 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 dun. so standard dun, dun, size dun. picnic table this is the Traction Hobby 1.8 uh, scale Ford F-150 Raptor series. Uh, yeah, I know, right? So happy to run these. We unboxed these the other day, and it was a little cloudy outside, so we thought we'd reintroduce them today because it's gorgeous and sunny. <laughs> uh, these trucks are fully uh, licensed. They have some of the best lights on them that we have seen. It has full two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive selectability. It has two-wheel drive uh, um, uh, locking diffs, four-wheel drive locking diffs, and a high and low transmission. And they are waterproof. But blam That sounds amazing! <laughs> right? Like, that's incredible. And what we noticed, which was awesome, mm -hmm. is that we were able to get a blue one, kind of like the truck we used to own, right? Correct. And you remember Uncle Everett back in Alberta, he had a white Ford F-150. Correct. Right? So it's almost like we're repping here. Which one are you going to be choosing, sir? Which one I would you like? I am going to be the, the blue one. Oh, the blue one! I get the chance to be the, the Everett F-150. Correct. Excellent, excellent. Everett 50. Everett Everett the, <laughs> the Everett F-150. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to slap the batteries in. We might as well show some of the features on these things because these basically come ready to run. They have the aluminum beadlocks on here. They are absolutely beautiful. We have full lights set up in the bumper, hard plastic bumpers, hard plastic um, Lexan bodies, yes, but hard plastic um, inserts for the lights. Yeah, go ahead. I never even knew that there was just little lights down here. Mm -hmm. I'd completely avoided the bumper. But when you were looking I never, at it? Yeah, I mm -hmm. never knew that there were small little lights in there. It's so yeah. cool. Uh, same with the nice running boards on the side. They're nice and hard plastic. It has light turning signals in your side mirrors, sir. You have them right there. Yep. Uh, you cannot open the doors, but it does have like pretty much a full interior in there. All of these are decals that the are stuck on. The windshield wipers work. You, well, yep. they don't function but, yeah, but like mechanically but you can yeah, good like point. on a rainy day you can just yeah you can move them out of the way if you wanted to give yourself a muddy uh windshield you could just kind of wipe it out of the way that's a that's a really good idea that's actually. a valid idea even if you do it with paint if you wanted to do brown paint and spray it you could wipe it like that and make it look like there was mud there <laughs> So in the back, you might notice that it's got a nice hard back box. Would you like me to demonstrate why it's there? Sure. So, let me, help yep, you out let there. me just, thank you. Uh -huh. So the reason the hard box is there is to, I believe, to support the support is suspension to... right here, I believe. Yeah, those are the shock towers. And so what's happening is the sh to get such a low profile on this, they have the shock tower still quite high and the frame low. Mm -hmm. And then this back box is actually a cover for the shock towers. You can't unfortunately open this up, can we you? We actually thought this was the battery box. Yeah, we thought in the beginning when we looked at it, hey, you know, like that's what it is. But it's actually to cover this up. Now I'm Correct. sure you could open that up and modify it to, to, to store something in there, but... Pretty cool. Look at, we have the dual exhaust on either side. Can you? That's when you know it's a big board truck. <laughs> That's exactly right. Powered by EcoBoost. Look at this, guys. Independent front suspension. It's not like we haven't seen this before in the Tamiya and other, uh, even ones by Traction RC. But I love the whole bottom skid plate 
right? Because you can actually take this and do small jumps with it. It's not like it's a jumping right. truck. It's a super True. scale truck. We can see here the long uh, suspension lengths. This is much longer than a standard tent scale. We're going to actually list how long or how wide the wheelbase and all the specs down in the video description box below the video player for you to check it out. But look at this, even a rear pan hard bar. That's very unusual for me to see. Very, very cool. Yes, you see, it's just, I thought it was going to be for like a rear um, steer or some sort of weird option like that, but it's actually for stability. Inside a huge traction hobby um, uh, 775 motor, uh, 13 tooth on there. You can see the uh, 2 to 4S LiPo electronic speed control and then all the beautiful aluminum accessories that come on here uh, with these servos uh, to help change and all the selectable uh, features on there. All the lights, everything is already pre-set up, done in these harnesses for you. All we got to do is slap on a battery and head out to the creek. What do you think? Perfect. Let's slap on a battery. <laughs> 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 I think it could take it. It's pretty beefy. <laughs> Fly Sky Radios, buddy. I uh, didn't mark down whose was whose. So, oh. dun -dun -dun -dun. um, Fleeski. Gotta say, for me, that noise never gets old. It's no, I old. know. How you change uh, your gears or two wheel to four wheel? Uh, oh, they're set up in Chinese. Uh oh. Uh. Just push the button. Uh. Oh, ready? Just push the button. Good, good, good. And so we got quick release pins on the front and then like the other models we've seen before, slides in in the back uh, with two little slide clips. So, so we just plug it in and then push the button and then beep bobble. That You basically nailed it, buddy. Perfect. Doodly doodly. Oh, I guess I should turn it on. Okay. Hello. I know, I'm hurrying up. Okay, I found yours. Oh, <laughs> this is right. yours. <laughs> Mine's not working. <laughs> there, that yes, is yours, mine. sir. For those wondering, uh, there is the cable locking. Uh, there's the cable for the diff lock, and the axle is actually plastic. Dude, it's a monster truck. Ah, uh, that's something that we can agree on. Yeah, it's very large. Are you looking for your pins here? Correct. I'll right hold there. them. Yeah. Oh, nice. And then you just flip them up. Oh, I see. Your, there you go. I push uh, it down for you. you. Wondering why it was so difficult? Easy peasy. Just in case anyone's wondering, this is the light button right here. So you double click it. Oh. Yeah. There. Double click it again. See yours. Now double click again. Again. Hmm. Mine went to... Uh, Oh, so how come your bumper lights aren't on? Oh, I think, okay. Okay, so we wanted to go out to the creek right away to show off these great lights because I've got mine in the bumper that are completely working and I've got the orange lights up front. The only problem is, is that the instruction book we have is all in Chinese and it, sh it has an insert on how to make it work for his but it is uh, in, Chinese in Chinese also. So we're trying to figure out on mine why it works, but without disassembling uh, the entire um, box in here to see the lighting system, your um, headlights work, Correct. Actually. but your bumper lights are not working right. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they'll fix this problem for other people <laughs> now that they see this video. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. So headlights working. And we can switch them with the button. All right, but those bottom lights, they should be on automatically. Also, basically everything that is the body mm -hmm. works underneath the body. Yeah, for lights. For lights. Yeah, least. and I and like here's the instructions that we have, just so people want to see it. Um, so it's just telling you, you you have this as a light controller. Mm -hmm. And then we have this one of these cables, which we have identified that we think that these are these, these ones for, right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then what does this connect to? Right, it doesn't show. And then we have this one here that we have connected, but when you look at the other side, 
Um, Gibberish. Bleh, for us, we can't understand that. So, we go out the way it is and have some fun. Okay, let's go with this. Dude. That's amazing. Yeah, they're beautiful. And smooth. Uh, incredibly. Let's go to the creek. To the creek! Dude, they're beautiful. They look great. Right now, I'm in uh, rear wheel drive. Not I'm sure. In all four. You're all wheel drive, yeah. Correct. Nice. Are you? Do you oh, know if you have locked you have differentials? I see that. Dragging a tail. So, for anybody that's watching that doesn't know the difference, um, rear wheel drive is just where one or both of the rear wheel drives is giving you um, propulsion. Front wheel drive is where it's just power to the front wheels or wheel and locked or unlocked is where you have either one tire spinning or two tires spinning or all four tires spinning under power okay so i just figured out to get it locked all four wheel drives moving uh four wheels moving it's going to be this knob all the way to the left side because i was stuck here and I couldn't get my back tire to engage, but I have. Are all the other tires on the other side turning, Mo? Yep, every single one. Good man. Now I can hop out of here easy. Oh. There we go. Very good. Thank you. Let's go. Good experiment. Now I'm in four wheel low, which gives me a nice speed, nice drag break. Over the, I'm pretty sure dead. I break. couldn't see you, and that's why I keep hitting you, is because you don't have any bumper lights. <coughs> oh, uh, too soon. Man. <laughs> Like what he said. <laughs> Too soon. They look so good just crawling through. The bigger the truck, the more obstacles you can conquer, man. <laughs> so true. Yep. the creek shall we go creaking uh, okay would you like to go first or would you like me to go sploosh I'd like you to go sploosh alrighty then I will switch to high gear so the handle button right here is actually to switch between high and low gear oh, that is nice and fresh feeling alrighty sir I will go sploosh first okay in three two one Oh, decent, decent. I enjoyed that a great deal. Okay. Let me get myself get lined up here. Good luck on the launch. Set, go. Yeah, that's oh, my yeah. boy. All right, let's trail. Let's go. Oh, high gear in the water is actually a great amount of fun. And since I'm only using a 3S right now, oh, I don't have a snorkel. Oh, I got out just in time. Okay. You're gonna want four wheel drive and high speed there. Already done. Good boy, good luck. Oh, that's that's not high gear. <laughs> good luck. Yes, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah. yeah. These things are beasts. Beasts, dude, congratulations, Whoa. yes. All right. So, so How far, go through that? so far so good. I haven't had any reception issues. <laughs> Everything seems to be going well. I've got to go through a deep end here, Mo. Hold on a second. Also, Dad's going off the deep end again. <laughs> okay, the deep end. <laughs> had a little bit of wheel speed to help me up on the other side. I'm getting out of your way. Very good, I'm enjoying your speed. Both of us on a 3S LiPo, we could still go to a 4S, folks, if we wanted to. <laughs> Seemingly good enough on the power right now. Okay, switching to low gear. I love the switch right on the thumb, um, on the thumb right here, basically on the handle. It is helpful. What, we go to the waterfall, hey? Or what might be a trickle by now? Hello. Hello. I'm thinking we should avoid the tall grass because of ticks. 
yeah, and uh, yeah, stay to the middle. Tick Valley. Tick Valley, yeah. The cartoon makes a whole lot more funny sense to me now. Okay. Yeah! Oh, my lights are completely off. So funny. Oh, I've lost. Oh, no. Is this my front headlights? I must have clicked my button. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I may have lost my front headlights. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Does this mean that, oh no, it is working, yes! Yes! Good news is, is that my front bumper headlights are off. I wonder if there is a way to turn them off and on. That is fantastic. At least we can figure it out together, bud. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I was wondering if the light controller was uh, waterproof, but since my other lights are working still, it must be, it must just be a setting that I can't read. <laughs> Oh my God, the mosquitoes are huge. Let's take a nice picture like up here. I feel like we're dinosaur time. Right? I feel like we're feeding an entire friggin' culture of mosquitoes. Generation, yeah. Dude, so cool. Bro, come give me a nice poser shot right with your truck. Drive up on this rock right here. Yeah, man. Go to low gear, go to low gear. Oh, this rock here, sir. There you go. That way you can be king of the castle. We'll end it here because these, these guys can see the mosquitoes. They're eating us alive. Oh, four wheel drive, sir. You got her? It is. Yeah, I see it. Very good. good. Sure, if you want. Now let me try the poser shot. Let dad show you how it's done. Now, back up, son. Thank you, sir. All the way so I can try. Thank you. Stealing your shot and taking it as my own. Dang. Something that dads do. Oh! All the time. Oh, mosquitoes! Oh, oh mosquitoes! Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting carried away by mosquitoes! Oh, God. Ow! Ah. All right. And that is the traction hobby uh, truck. Yay! Woo! Let's get the halibut out of here. Let's go! Oh, God. They're eating me! They're eating me! Split. Mosquitoes <laughs> everywhere! Quickly! Escape! Oh, oh I'm going quickly, alright. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck on a root! No! Save yourself! Save yourself! Thank you, Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> Peace, I say. I'm so itchy. So frickin' frickin' itchy, itchy, itchy. Ah, ooh, ee, ah, ooh, ah. Dude, we have fifth scale trail trucks, <laughs> right? Yeah. We've got eighth scale. True. We've had sixth scale. Yes. I, I gotta say, the bigger the truck, the better the experience. It depends. I guess we've even used the 124 scale. I guess it's all fun, yeah? Yeah. Just depends on what you're doing that day. So smooth, dude. They fixed one of my biggest problems, and I love that. What's that? That you can't really turn sharply anymore. Yeah. Because when I was on really fast mode with my old RC. It's because you had a straight axle, not the independent front arms the way this does. This can actually absorb cornering better, and that's why they have full-size vehicles this way. It helps them. Plus, when you're in unlocked, like if you just go to rear-wheel drive, you'll actually have a different performance when you turn. Yeah, because, because all four-wheel drive locked um, makes your truck not turn as sharply, you see? Look, now I... Oh, nice. Yeah. Dodge. <laughs> exactly. That's not a dodge. It's not one of those. That's <laughs> not a dodge. <laughs> Fun.